All right, well, first of all, Leo Lilly, congratulations. This film is beautiful. I do not say it lightly when I say a cinematic masterpiece. Um, it also tells an American tragedy in certain ways. Um, what was the most important truth for you each to convey or that you hoped the film conveyed about the Osage Nation specifically? I think for me that they're still here. Mm. That um, in spite of this, you know, in spite of the reign of terror, and then even though the reign of terror is specific to Osage, it's also part of a whole period of time where we have the assimilation era following the removal era for American Indians. Like every, every big step this, this nation has taken has been a step closer, close, closer to our erasure, and yet we're still here. Mm. And I feel like that was for me, one of the most important things that I hope came across to the audience, since people tend to relegate us to the 1800s mm -hmm. and feel like we kind of went away then, we, we continue, we remain, we're here. Absolutely. Leo, what would you add to that if you sort of zoom out the story um, start to finish in a more general way? I, I think more than anything, just to do this story justice, uh, you know, as Lily was saying, this is a lost part of American history, but it's it's a, a story that continues to this day with indigenous cultures around the world. It's a m microcosm for a, a much larger narrative that we see everywhere. And, you know, we really went in as historians trying to really listen. Marty was so vigilant about listening to the, mm -hmm. to the Osage community about their perspective on how to tell this story. It's, it, it's kind of an honor to be able to put this up on screen because as soon as that book came out by David Gren, it's just such a shocking story. Much like the Tulsa massacre, which happened the same year as this, we were, we were privileged enough to be able to try to go in and, and, and be as truthful as possible about not only what happened, but the, the essence of who these characters were and the dynamics of this story. So I just felt you know, privileged to be able to be a part of it. And I, and I feel so immensely proud of this movie. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, the dynamic that the two of you create together with your characters, it's beautiful, it's complex, it's, um, it's a lot of things. <laughs> um, I'm curious to know, what was it like teaming up to create that dynamic, your first impressions of one another when you first got to set? Who's <laughs> going first? <laughs> I mean, we had a couple of dinners beforehand, which I really appreciated because then I got to just get to know the Leo within the Leonardo DiCaprio of it all. <laughs> I like that, the Leo and yeah. the Leonardo. <laughs> so by the time we got to set that, um, even though our first scene, my hands were trembling mm -hmm. horribly. A um, little nervous? Oh, absolutely. I mean, a lot of times that happens first day anyway, sure. just like the characters arriving and yeah. you know, you're know you receiving, so there's an energy there. But also just, uh, you know, had to kind of block out that and just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like we're pretty easy with each other and it happened. I'd say so. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you feel like Lily got to know the Leo and the Leonardo? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. Aw. And vice versa. But, you know, more than anything, it was as soon as she came on, she just took this. Marty looked at her as a, you know, he wanted her in a sort of leadership position and, and a collaborator to really help us steer how to tell this story correctly. And she, not only did she embody the spirit and the soul of this character, but she really helped us with, with the narrative of what we wanted to say. So it was like, it was a equal partnership in a Absolutely. lot of ways. And um, Marty hired her immediately, even without, uh, without an audition, which I had never seen in the history of my work with him. He just knew that she needed to be a part of this project. That you and, were the one. And, Thank God he did. Without yeah. an audition with you, I did read for Marty. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, a week before he set up that meeting oh, with you wow. and him. But no you and I me. never, yeah, we never, we never had any text together beforehand. I think our okay. first sit down was essentially mm -hmm. our chem read. But, but that was clearly enough. I was surprised because I was waiting to hear, because you were filming Don't Look Up then, and said you wanted to dive in and do some scenes, and I had my sides next to me the whole time we had that first meeting, just mm -hmm. in case. And I was anticipating the next call I would get, if I got one, mm -hmm. would be for that read. So when I got a call from both my agent and manager, I was like, oh, this is news, because they usually call if it's big news together. Yeah. Um, I... Uh, 
they gave me the part, and I was like, wait, no, no, we've got one more step. It's, <laughs> like, no, I need to talk to Leo. I'm trying to the Leo with Leonardo yet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I threw the phone across the room. I screamed. Um, wow. And fun fact, that was on December 1st. Nobody planned it this way, but December 1st is Molly Burkhart's yeah. birthday. Wow. Absolutely so fascinating. Well. So right away I had the excitement, but then yeah. it, right, it was like, oh, that's a good reminder yeah. of what I'm actually here right. to do. And you two sharing your first Vogue cover together. <laughs> right. How special to be able to do that for the first time, one, and also <laughs> promoting such an important project. Absolutely. It was an amazing experience. Edward. That was. Yes, it was. And it meant so much, so much to all of the indigenous designers that were featured. Every single photo had indigenous design in it. Um, so yeah, that was a nice, that was a nice moment for a lot of celebration. Yeah. People were so happy to see you with that pocket square next to those blankets. It's like, you the know. Turtlenecks looked great. They looked really good. <laughs> really good yeah. So. Turtlenecks work for us. You big on turtlenecks, Leonardo? I, <laughs> Am I big on turtlenecks? Not really. No? You don't Roll like those? I did Roll wear next. one on my, my first date, a turtleneck. Okay. How did it go? I well, think, I, I've worn many turtlenecks. Since I hadn't time. worn one since. And Wait. that was from Mervyn's. So. <laughs> well, you looked good in these ones. Okay. Congratulations on the film. Thank you for your time.